Hey girl, hey! My name is Mimi and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. Now, if you like to watch and discuss the ratchetness in these YouTube streets, then sit back, grab your Stella Rosa, your Taylor Port, your Mad Dog 2020, and let's get comfy. Remember, this video is for entertainment purposes only. Now, let's get into this. Hey y'all, Mimi back with another reaction. Y'all, these YouTube streets been burning flaming hot, like some flame hot Cheetos. So I'm currently on my lunch break. Y'all, I know. Y'all know, as usual. That's the only time I really had time to just sit and talk with y'all. Like I wish I could sit and talk with y'all during like when I'm at work. Cause I mean, I'm in my own office, but it's constant interruption, so I, I don't want to do y'all like that. I know with this, I won't have any interruptions. I just have to be quick about it because I only have so much time for a lunch break. So I'm sitting here eating my lunch. I'm, I'm almost done um, at Chick-fil-A right behind me. And so I got like the kids meal. That's what I normally get. I wanted to bring one of my little Stouffer's meals for lunch today, but I couldn't find it. So I'm thinking my daughter ate it. So, but it don't matter. Mm, I try not to fuss about her eating my stuff because I know she's a child and kids need to eat. And if she went and found her something to eat, and if I didn't feel like cooking and she went and just found her something to make herself, that's fine. So that's another reason why I don't fuss about it. Um, anyway, um, I guess I'm going to talk about this Livy Poo and Jazz situation, aka Live Life and My Jazzy Life. Um, so a lot of stuff transpired this weekend with them too uh so i guess olivia went live explaining the whole situation between jazz my jazzy life and her baby daddy hippie christopher bowser so basically you know all the allegations that have been going on that hips has been abusive towards Jasmine and we've actually seen him be abusive towards the children you know in so many ways um Olivia came and did a live and basically confirmed it allegedly um it's hard for me to believe and take Olivia seriously because she lies so much and she does a lot of things to me just calculated and I feel like this is one another thing that's calculated. I'm not saying she's lying about Chris because she basically alluded to the fact that she's actually heard things going on in the background while she's on the phone with Jazz. So, and then she even said she has recordings. So, I'm I'm just ready to see how this is gonna play out because. I feel like it's gonna get ugly and see right now jazz i don't think she's that pissed off or at least we don't know if she's pissed off or not because she has not gone live and that's very strange for her because she goes live on a daily basis if she doesn't put a, a vlog out she gonna go live i don't care if she just laying up there looking at the camera she gonna go live and do something because she gotta make them coins uh so i feel like this is gonna get real ugly i feel like live live to me is a snake and like i said i never believed that she was really jazz's friend from the jump i just felt like they had a common enemy and they kind of just cling to each other because they had nobody else so all these allegations that's been going on with jazz um, it started out with Chrissy 
making the same allegations about Chris being abusive towards uh, Jazz's kids. And then after that, it was Mama Dukes that alluded to the fact that she thought that Chris was hurting her. Something to that fact. Um, then Jazz basically calls everybody a liar, saying, you know, people just making up stuff or, you know, saying that it's um, subscribers, not subscribers, but um, reactors and people from YouTube calling CPS and calling the folks on her, you know, saying there's abuse in the household or whatever, which I don't think that's the case. I, I think it's people that are close, that live close to her, such as her neighbors. Um, Jazz has also mentioned that uh, Kaylin, her daughter, her oldest daughter, is best friends with the neighbors. So, I mean, people talk. Children talk. Who's to say Kaylin didn't say something? I feel like that little girl got a flip mouth, and I feel like she gonna tell it. She and Amaya. But I feel like Jasmine, she blames people that are not in arm's reach because she's trying to i guess protect protect chris per se so if she says that it's uh the youtube people chris can't go out and reach out and get those people now if she say yeah the neighbor did it chris will probably go over next door and start a fight and start a big old you know commotion so i think she does that for protecting him I think that what I really think is deep down Jazz knows she knows exactly who is calling the people on her but she's not gonna you know she's not gonna admit the truth just like I feel like once she does come out and respond to all these allegations she's not gonna admit it she's she's gonna feel like people are making things up but just a couple weeks ago, Liv was riding hard for you and Chris, talking about Chris is a good man and blase, blase. Now, fast forward to yesterday in Kels' chat. Shout out to Kels. Um, Liv popped, dropped down in the chat and she basically said, so am I lying? Or so I'm lying about it, I guess. I, I didn't see it exact. I didn't even see the chat because I wasn't in the chat at the time. I think I was in another chat being nosy. And then Kels was in another chat and she told me, yeah, Liv dropped down in the chat. I was like, oh, let me go back and watch this because I want to see it. So yeah, she dropped down in the chat, basically confirming that she's in the bushes as I think they all be in the bushes watching and they probably be like, wow, how do you people figure it out our lives? We figure it out because y'all record every damn thing. Y'all record everything and y'all put all y'all business out there. Y'all love to say it ain't nobody business, but it is. Because y'all making it our business. We watching it like a whole movie. So, child, this is a mess. I'm just going to stay tuned. And y'all, it is hot as he's out here because... I thought it was gonna be cool this morning. Why well, I get outside and I turn my car on and I see the uh, thermostat saying it's 79 degrees and I got on this hot ass sweater. Y'all, this weather don't know what it wanna be. It's, it's like the end of January and it feel like springtime. But y'all, I'm not gonna say much right now. I'm just gonna let this mess play out. And y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Because this is some crazy stuff. This is it's interesting. It's like, like I said, it's like watching a train wreck. You can't look away from it. So right now, everybody is waiting on Jazz to go live, make a video, do some. So you already know, once she makes her video, you know, your girl is going to respond. And she going to give you her opinion. And I just want y'all to... Just give me y'all opinions as well. But on that note, I got to get my behind back to work. And y'all make sure y'all hit that like and that subscribe button. Um, if you like this sort of video, who is this? I'm hopping over here.
Oh, he works over at this car wash over here. But anyway, if y'all like this type of video, make sure to like and subscribe. And leave your comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.